Hey, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And one very exciting thing inside of Lightroom 6 is facial tagging. We now have the ability for Lightroom to go through and scan all the faces inside of your catalog and start to recognize who those people are. And what we're actually going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to train it. And the more we train it, the better it's going to get. So it gets to the point where it's going to instantly recognize the people and know exactly who they are. One of the really revolutionary features inside of Lightroom 6 slash CC is facial recognition. It now has the ability to go through your catalog and your library and find all the different faces and try to recognize those faces and sort them out into individual people. So the way to activate that is to actually just go down and just click this little button here or hit the O key. And then this will take you into people view. Now, when you're in people view, you have a couple of options. We can start finding faces in the entire catalog, and this will just get busy and start working right away. Or you can only find faces as needed. So this one will work in the background, and this one, you will just manually kind of do that. So we can click on here, and now it's going to go up here, and it's going to start looking for faces. And also it shows up here that face detection is on. It's detecting faces in film strip. That's what's happening inside here. If we click on here, Notice that we have the different options. So face detection, at any time we can pause that by just clicking there and it'll stop. And then we can continue doing it later. Now this is going to take quite a while for it to start to find the faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video for a second and then we're going to come back to it soon. As we progress a little further, you can see that Lightroom is working away here. You can see it's detecting faces in Filmstrip and we can click on there. And we can see the progress bar. It's actually got quite a long way to go, but we're working on 50,000 images here. And you can see what's happened here is we've got this people view now. And we've got a named people and unnamed people. Well, initially everything is going to appear under the unnamed because it doesn't really know who anyone is. And we see a little question mark. We can click in here and let's name this first one. So this is Callan. And then to apply, I'm going to shift enter. And now we've added Callan. And notice she now appears under the named people. So let's try the next one, which is Crystal. Shift Enter. And notice when I do that, it actually goes into the next field. Now that's me. So I'm going to click on Colin. And you can see the stack there tells me there's 39 people. There's 29, 25, 24. And you can see what happens is there's 233 pictures there of Callan, 47 of me, 91 of Crystal so far. But one of the things you'll notice too is that suggestions actually start to um, suggest who the person is. So I can shift enter and I can say, you know what, that's correct. And notice it just gets added to that one. And now it actually knows, yeah, hey, this is Crystal. This one's not sure. So let me just start typing your name. And as I type it, notice it appears there. And I can hit enter. And I can actually apply that as well. Shift enter. So now the other thing we can do is if we go over the notice we get the little check mark so we can actually just apply it and just say you know what yeah that's correct that is crystal yeah that is colin and you can see here it starts to um the more i use it the more accurate it starts to get um so let's have a look what we've got up and you also are going to get some of these you know just sometimes you're going to get some random faces in here um you know they're just going to be picked up say for example here this just got picked up from a um a brochure or something like that so we'll literally pick up pictures everywhere it'll pick up reflections it'll pick up posters in the background from different locations uh, it'll pick up just weird things sometimes these little circles or whatever you know busts different things like that that think of faces so what happens is when you get these you can actually just hit the reject there and just hit that button or the other option is just select it and then just hit the delete key and that'll remove it so, um, you know, like weird things like this are going to start to show up and you can just get rid of those. So that's essentially the workflow of kind of doing that and adding these names. Well, let's have a look once we've started to add them all, because as you can imagine, we're going to just get tons of these uh, in here. And it actually gets pretty good. Say, for example, we're fooling around with these wigs here and it still recognizes that this is Crystal. So let me click on her here. And if I hold down the S key, if I tap it, it will actually open up the stack and we can see here, look at this, we've got some pictures of her with her hair down and we've got some pictures with her hair up and, uh, and it actually does a pretty good job there of sorting that out. So here we are, so we can actually just tap the S key to close it or we can click and hold the S key 
and I'm still holding it right now. And as soon as I release it, it will go back again. So we can short and long click. And, and as you can see here, there's another way we can add these faces. So we've got a bunch here of crystal that are being um, kind of picked up. So I'm hitting the control key and just kind of clicking on all of these here. And I'm selecting these pictures of her. And then what I can do too is even there, it doesn't actually know who she is, but I just selected it. So I'm just going to click and drag into there. And I can also do that and start to do multiple photos at the same, same time. Click, hold down the shift key. Oops, we don't want that one there because that's uh, Lana. Click and drag and we can add it. So you can see how quick and easily we can start to add these names. And as we do this, eventually all the people are going to be up here. Now there's different ways we can do this by sorting. If we look down here under suggested names, so sorting here is offering the suggested names first. So the ones that it thinks it knows who it is come up the top here. So as we see here, when we go to suggested name, I can click on there and I can select multiple photos because this is where it shows the names that actually have names and I can click and drag and I can throw some more of those in there, etc. So we can also go here by the stack size. So the stack size will show the ones with the largest stacks, the most possibilities of being the right person right there. Um, we can also go by popular names. So, you know, obviously, you know, we've got right now 212 crystals and it uh, looks like we've pretty much got all a lot of the Callens there. Um, well, there we go. There she's showing up there. So the most popular names, obviously, are what we have here. Um, and we could go to suggested names. So there's different ways of doing this. It's just going to speed up this workflow. So eventually what you're going to do is you're going to get all the ones we know here. We're going to add them doing it this way. And then we can go down and start to find new faces and start to tag those. So let's have a look at other ways of working. So for example, um, you know, I'm inside one of these. Let me go in here and I'm just going to jump inside one of the photos here. And when we are in loop view, we also have the option of naming the faces here. You'll see that we have the option turned on. If I turn this off, the draw region, it's just going to show nothing. And we can look at the pictures like normal. We turn this on. If it identifies the person, it shows their name. If I take that off, it's not going to know the person's name. So let's have a look here. So we've got a picture here and it's one unnamed person. The other option we can do is literally go in here and we can um, redefine these regions. Let me actually get rid of that region entirely. So this is what you would do if it doesn't see a face. So if there's a face here that doesn't get picked up, click and drag over there. You'll see the name. And then we start to type in the name. And that's Crystal. Shift Enter. And now, oh, let me just hit the Enter key. And now we've actually tagged that. So that's how we can do it in loop view as well. And once again, you know, we're down here when we've got things happening. Let me go to the uh, back to the library again. Just hit the G key to go back out and go into our faces view. You can see it's detecting the faces up there. We can click down here. We can pause this or turn off the face detection. Just by simply hitting pause, it's not going to do that anymore. And now we're going to have to manually do it. Or, you know, in this case, I'm just going to continue to let it do it here. And uh, that's just kind of working away in the background. And we can do other things while we're working. So as you can see, this is the um, the face tagging inside of Lightroom. And uh, it's I think you're going to find it kind of really neat. Once you get it set up, you know, just bear in mind that it could take a little bit in the beginning, you know, a little bit of work to get all of this, um, you know, sorted out. But once you get it all sorted out, it's really going to speed up. And one of the things to, to bear in mind is the more we start to tag these names, the smarter it's going to get in here. And these tags are going to get bigger with the, uh, with the same people in there.